All right, T-nuts for the Atlas machines today. The T-nuts fit the milling machine table. They fit the shaper table. They fit the um, production cross slide on the lathe. And I don't know what else, pretty much everything. Um, well, the a boring table that fits on the lathe too. Anything that uses T-nuts on the Atlas machines I believe are pretty much universal. As always, maybe not, I could be mistaken, but for the most part everything I found on the machines uses the same T-nut. It's the same thing as Atlas's universal, you know, kind of universal thing. They don't want to build any more, or they didn't want to build any more different skews or different parts than they had to. So a lot of the stuff interchanges between the machines. So I'm doing the primary machining on the little Atlas milling machine. Uh, I'm prepping my stock here on the on the uh, Grizzly vertical mill, which is just a matter of drilling them for right now and then uh, drilling and deburring them and then I'll come back and countersink them. Now I'm doing them in a six inch length at a time, so I'll get 16 nuts out of a out of one piece of stock or one setup and what I'm doing is uh, this is 3 8 thick by 3 quarter inches wide so what I'm doing is I'm going through and I've got a stop set up on the on the table here or I've got my length set and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drill each of these quarter inch and then deburr them from there I'm gonna take them over to the Atlas mill and I set up a, just a simple little fixture I'm gonna screw them down to that and then I'm going to run the run a set of cutters off. I've got the arbor already spaced and set up. Uh, I'm going to run the contours, you know, the two outer edges. We're going to cut them off. And then once that's done, and I'm doing four pieces of stock for right now. Once I get all four of those done, I'll flip them over, reset my spacing on my cutters, and we'll run them down the other side to cut our width which is I believe about five eighths of an inch we'll verify that when it's there or when we get there but anyway I'm gonna I've already got the first couple of these drilled I'm gonna drill the last couple here and uh, then we'll go over the milling machine
and just that easy. 24 of them ready to go. Okay, let's go over to the little mill. All right, so here's the setup of the milling machine. Sorry for the really crappy lighting. I've got, uh, since we moved it around, I've got even worse lighting here than I had before, but I've got new lights ordered. They'll be here the next couple of days. So here's the setup, and we've already cut one and dialed things in, hopefully. I've taken a just a bar of flat stock, just some cold roll flat stock. I've uh, drilled and countersunk it to bolt it to T-nuts down to the table, and I've added a couple of clamps just for a little extra security. I've drilled it every inch on center, which is spacing I'm doing for these T-nuts anyway. And um, I won't use all these. I'm only using about three screws to hold down a section of, of stock here. And um, we're just screwing it down with some button head cap screws, and it just machines away the the sides of them, which is fine. I'm uh, taking it to full depth in one pass, and we're leaving height and everything set since we've got it pretty well set. So we're just going to run it back over here out of the way and um, clamp this piece of stock in, and then we're going to cut full depth, one, run one pass across, lots of coolant on there, and uh, hopefully it'll run fine. So we'll let you follow along for a while, and this will get kind of boring. We may fast forward this because it takes, I don't know, probably 10 minutes to traverse across here. So we're cutting, uh, we're cutting our profile, our upper profile here, and then uh, after it's done, we'll reset our cutters. After I've cut all of the pieces of stock I've got, we'll just flip it over and we'll mill it to width. Is the plan anyway. We've just barely got room to get everything in here and started, hopefully. And I think our setup's good. We've got everything running. A little bit of coolant.
my elevation may be off just a little bit on this. This one may be a little bit too... I need to cut just a little bit deeper, I think. Take a look and see what we got here. profile and the next thing will be to narrow it down so that it, so that it fits there and width we are good so yeah there's the first one well I'm going to continue we'll uh, we'll come back when we do the flip side and narrow them down and get that set up and uh, then the plan will just be to separate them into one inch sections for this little bit i probably won't mill them we'll probably just hit them on the belt sander to knock that off and uh, then once we get them actually while they're still all in one piece we'll go ahead and tap them 5 16 18 and then um, then we'll go ahead and cut them into pieces into one inch pieces they'll basically be done then we'll deburr the edges and we'll tumble them and then run them through the bluing tanks so we'll bring you back when we cut the next, uh, next section of them.